In this video, you're going to learn how to talk about activities that involve movement using the structure go plus verb in ing. This is a must-know structure. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about how to use the sentence structure go plus verb in ing. Now, this is a sentence structure that we use in very specific situations. And that one situation is when we're talking about an activity that involves physical movement. So a lot of these are just the physical activities that you do as leisure activities. Now, when we talk about these, we don't follow our basic English sentence structure, which is subject plus verb plus infinitive, which is to and verb. So for example, I don't say, I go to hike every Sunday. Go is our verb. And in the regular sentence structure, the following verb would be in the infinitive, which is what you see here. But this is incorrect. We need our gerund verb, which is simply a verb with ing. This is an alternative sentence structure, an irregular sentence structure that we only use in specific cases. With verbs of physical activity and movement is one of those cases. So I need to say, I go hiking, I take my verb hike, and I simply put it in the gerund form with ing. I go hiking every Sunday. That's the correct sentence structure. So just remember that this sentence structure is subject plus go plus gerund plus verb and ing. Now remember that go is our active verb and we're going to conjugate it according to the subject and the time reference. So when I say I go hiking every Sunday, that's my verb to go in the present simple conjugated with the subject I because I'm talking about a routine. But let's say my time reference is yesterday. It would be yesterday I went hiking. So remember, our active verb go is the one that's going to change and be conjugated with the subject and time reference, but the following verb, the gerund verb, doesn't change. It's going to stay in that gerund form. Yesterday I went hiking. Now, I could change my subject and change my time reference, and I could say today, but as a future event, today she's going hiking. So here, my verb go is in the present continuous and is conjugated with the subject, she, but still hiking doesn't change. So remember that it doesn't matter what your subject is or your time reference is. The verb go is going to be conjugated, but the verb in gerund form, your physical activity, is not going to change. Now, you're probably wondering what activities can I use this structure with? So I'm going to give you a list of the most common. This isn't an exhaustive list. There may be others not on this list. So if you can think of one that isn't on this list, put it in the comments. So let's review this list together. Running, jogging, hiking, camping, canoeing, kayaking, diving, boating, shopping, snowboarding, skiing, climbing, fishing, surfing, horseback riding. There the verb is riding. Horseback just describes what type of riding, but our verb is riding. Horseback riding and dancing. Again, there may be other verbs of movement and physical activity that aren't on this list. If you can think of any, please put them in the comments below. Now, before you go, let's look at one advanced 
change to this sentence structure, okay? Let's look at this sentence. I could say, I enjoy going hiking. Hmm, what's going on here? Now, you see two gerunds. The verb go is in the gerund form, verb ing, and then hiking, our activity, is in the gerund form. So always remember that the verb go needs to be conjugated according to the sentence structure, okay? So here I have I enjoy. Now enjoy is a verb, but not just any verb, it's a gerund verb, which means the verb that comes next in this case, go, that's the verb that comes next, it needs to be conjugated in the gerund form. So, when you look at this sentence, we have two gerunds. Go is in the gerund form because it follows the verb enjoy, which is a gerund verb. Hiking is in the gerund form because it follows the verb go and in the context of go plus physical activity, that verb of physical activity is in the gerund form. So as you become more advanced with English, you'll need to identify what's going on in a sentence. If this example is too advanced for you, that's okay. You can just focus on the information I said before and just forget about this one. But if you are at that level where you're nodding your head and you understand me, that's awesome. It shows you have an advanced understanding of English grammar and sentence structure. And if you're not there yet, don't worry, you will be one day. So now you have everything you need to talk about verbs of physical activity and movement. It's your turn to practice. I want you to leave three example sentences. Now, all three examples have to use different verbs of activity or physical activity movement, different subjects and different time references as well. So I want you to get comfortable conjugating that verb with the subject and time reference. So put those examples in the comments. I can't wait to read them. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4isenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Wow, awesome job. You just improved your basic English sentence structure, but also your advanced English sentence structure. I'm really proud of you. Take some time with this video. There was a lot in this video. Review it carefully, and I can't wait to read your examples. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.